Hi soldiers, I'm Daisy, founder of Banish. We hope that this movement has helped you feel confident about your skin with or without acne. Want a chance to change the world and be featured in our Banish Acne Diaries? Click on the link below to be featured in bad. Enjoy the rest of this video. Bye. Born and raised in California. I'm 24 years old right now. Just turned 24 on the 14th of June. So that has happened. I got married recently in May. I work with kids. I'm a pediatric registered dental assistant. I work with kids. I love what I do. I love working with kids, inspiring them, educating them about their dental health. I'm a cosplayer. I've been cosplaying for about a couple years, probably since 2016. I'm also uh, a gay. I, had, I married my husband, Nicholas, in May 25th. Pretty much just kind of working and living life as much as I can. Moving, because my husband just got promotion. So we're moving to a new house. I like Marvel, Spider-Man, and all the other <laughs> all the other characters. Mostly Spider-Man's my favorite because he's resonated with me as a child. I'm growing up with him. I'm still growing up with him since all the all the new movies out, obviously. So you can tell I'm wearing a Captain America shirt. Yeah. So obviously, <laughs> yes, big Marvel fan. Animal lover as well, and try to eat healthy, work out a lot. So that's a little bit about me. I have a lot of friends on Instagram. Mostly Instagrams where I'm very social. Uh, so they do cosplay. One of them, I was talking to him today, her name's, uh, I, hear, I don't know her, I can't remember her full name, but her Instagram name's Out of Reality Cosplay. And me and her like click, mostly not just because we like to cosplay a lot and stuff. And we um, use mostly Spider-Man cosplay, that's what we cosplay about. But we were like, and we try to do, support each other and help each other feel better about their cosplay because when you cosplay people are always going to judge you too just like your skin basically getting judged too so i'm always like trying to comment on people's posts give them support hope that you know even though, even though you feel like shitty about your cosplay and stuff that's some people post that stuff that it's going to get better and you'll feel better too so i'm always trying to like give advice and support people and motivate them started pretty much back in 2014, my senior year of high school, that's when I started breaking out with acne. I just figured, oh, it's just acne, it should just go away if I use these products. You know, that's what everybody thinks, you know, oh, excuse these products, I'll help you. They have so many products out there. So I pretty much tried to stick to um, organic. I didn't start doing using organic products first. I started, the first thing I started was with using um, the April, St. Ives apricot scrub. That worked pretty well. And I kept getting more acne and then I kept popping the pimples, which I didn't know you weren't supposed to do. So. That's how I got scars, but that's how I learn. That's how you learn, you know? And basically that's when it starts, 2014, then flash forward 2016 is when I really had deep, pretty scars, kept picking at them. So what the bad thing about it is just, I was just very depressed a lot, which happens when people have acne and acne scars. And then I just kind of found you guys, I think back in 2016 is when I started using your first, first uh, products, the, the Banish kit. I got all the kit, tried that, I loved it. Still loving it to this day. I don't use as much of your products as I used to. I do at least use the new Banisher, the stamp one. I love that one. I feel like it works a lot better. I use the Banish oil still, and then I still use the uh, pore smasher. Yeah, I'm like, what's that called? The big thing that smashes your pores. And and then ever since then, I found Banish has been helped a lot. As you can see, my skin clear up so much. Like I have like a thumb drive saved at all the pictures of I've, I've taken before and after photos. And they've really have helped me and my confidence. And it, it's good that you guys really promote your brand to at least young people and anyone that, you know, it's starting with acne, acne scars. And it's good that I that other people, influencers are getting the word out too. Like Instagrammers too. I follow some that use Banish and they barely inspired me back in the day, trying new things, what works, what doesn't work. That's pretty much the acne score story. I mean, pretty much it's gone. I still get little flare-ups. So here, like I have like a pimple right here, but they're not as big like cysts or anything. And then my scars, they pretty much just go away. It did have a big impact, but kind of didn't. I kind of just was like, it's acne, it'll go away. I wasn't the, super depressed. There's some, there's one point where I did cry in the mirror because I'm just sad that it did impact me and just, my face looked ugly, you know? Then I just kind of, other people, supporters too, like my parents, previous people in my life that aren't in my life anymore, they helped me in confidence. And I used to gain confidence and just people in my life just help supporting you and just saying you'll get better and get better over time. And then it helps, you know, because when you're depressed, you want some, you kind of want to either be left alone or someone to help you build your confidence back up which helped a lot so I didn't struggle I did struggle but I didn't wasn't too depressed that much when I was at my worst I was able to manage it and every time I look in the mirror I'm like okay it's gonna get better gonna get better it's all I said to myself and it worked you know just getting better trying new things not stressing because when you stress about it it's gonna get gets worse, your hormones flare up and you get more. And then even taking comparison pictures before and after photos to see where you're at, progress things helps you move along too, to see where you were before and then where you are now. 
which I think that's a good idea for everyone to do. Advice would be saying, don't give up. It's going to get better. Basically, life is going to get better. You just got to try. You'll find it. You'll find a solution to the acne program, whether it's diet or just your skin or hormones, you know, it'll get better. That's all I can really say. And just try to stay confident. And that's what I did. And that's what I know a lot. I know a lot of other people are doing too. My brother-in-law, he struggles with acne too. He went on Accutane. That helped him too. But then pretty much came back. So I recommended Banish to him. He doesn't have scars. It's mostly just like pimples. But I recommend ban Banish at least to like, as like a hint when you do have scars. And you better check them out. You know, they're gonna help you. You know, the products really work. I mean, it worked for me and it's worked for you. So it takes time, but everyone, I just wanna say basically, just don't give up hope. Hope's the biggest thing you need to help stay confident even when you have acne. I want people to know that obviously it gets better and that if you do your research, take your time, don't stress about over your acne, have a at least healthy diet, somewhat healthy diet. I mean, people do have cheat days, obviously. Um, I've had cheat days before too, and I break out. So I don't try not to worry about it. just basically one word I could say, don't worry so much. Just don't worry. Because if you worry too much, it's gonna get, you're gonna make your feel worse. So I would just say, keep hope and don't worry. Socially, yes, it did have an impact. I, Cause some people invited me somewhere and sometimes I just look in the mirror, I'm like, oh, I really don't wanna go out. I have to worry about people staring at my face. I mean, even when I was at work one time, I used to work at the ISM store before I got my dental job. There was a kid asking like, what's on his face? And then even people would hand me like their own recipes for mixing stuff. I felt kind of embarrassed. I feel like they were just judging me sometimes, but it didn't happen often, but it did happen. I did get too kind of depressed where I didn't want to just, I just want to go in my room and just lay in bed and not worry about the world, you know, because depression comes in many forms. Some people get really depressed. They just don't want to, they just shut themselves out. Some people get depressed for a little bit. Yeah, so that was like a hard part for me when people just said stuff to me. Other people did play a good role in my life. My mom did help me a lot. She wanted to take me to a dermatologist at first. I'm like, no, mom, I don't want to go to a dermatologist. I don't want them to describe me some pill or something like some medic, like some good medication. I don't need that. You know, I want to try like an organic route, at least like a vegan organic route. That's why I started all my research, all my research for anything. And my mom really helped me with that. And she really supported me and helped me make me feel better. I Googled how to get rid of acne scars, basically, because I want to know, like, treatments, and org but organically, though. And then Banish popped up. I'm like, oh, let me check them out. And I saw, like, people's before and after photos. I was instantly hooked. I'm like, okay, let me give this a try. And I got your Banish starter kit. I think that's what it's called. And then I tried that, started loving it. And my first time, I was hesitant, because I'm like, oh, maybe it won't work. But, you know, I stuck with it. I'm like, and it started working. And then with Banish, when I first started, I was a little scared to use a derma roller, because I'm like, that probably will hurt. But then I followed the steps. Basically, you use the pore smasher and numb your face, and you obviously sterilize your banished room roller, and then you obviously start banishing. It felt weird at first, but I did realize it was helping me. I love the science behind it. That's creating microfolds into your skin and helping produce collagen, which I thought was fascinating, which I never thought of that. Like, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so fascinating that you can trick your skin into doing that, which is really cool. And so I pretty much stuck with Banish. I've been mean, stuck with Banish ever since. I still use it, even with the new Banisher, obviously. That's how I came across Banish. What basically made me choose Banish is because I tried a lot of other acne scar things. So I tried Proactive and Tadrena. And what Banish really, what really drew me to it is that it was the derma rolling and the collagen buildup and the science behind it and that they are vegan or organic, which I thought was good. Cause you know, you should be good things onto your skin, not like chemicals, you know, like Proactive has. I mean, I'm not like shaming Proactive. I know they help, do help people, but not everybody help, helps. Cause for me, I, I got irritated. My face was super red when I used it. So I figured, no, I'm not gonna use that cause it's pretty much a bunch of chemicals. I like about Banish Banish is basically it's organic and it's like real products and you guys list the ingredients in each of it so you know what so the people that view it know what it's actually in the product and they know what's safe for their skin. That's why I chose Banish because it's good and even the name this is Banish Jacking Scar so I'm like it should be it sounds <laughs> <it's> legit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy, founder of Banish. Did you like this video? Please give it a thumbs up and comment and subscribe to our channel to be featured of any future Banish acne diaries and skin positivity comment. Thank you and don't forget, Banish, we got your back. Bye.